complete back over to PJ in PJ's mom's basement, who also keeps an eye on all the fantasy figures. So not only did we have yesterday's games, PJ, uh, we also had the three games Thursday. We got another one tonight. We had that uh, snow bowl in Denver last night where, oh, yeah, the Broncos knocked off the undefeated New England Patriots. Thank you very much, Denver. Did you anyway, finish that game? Did I finish the game? Did you watch it? I was on TV, actually, oh, during the true. whole game. So. Well, at the start of the fourth quarter, the Patriots scored to go up 21-7. You're thinking it's over. I'm not at all. It's like, did you really? So you missed the whole I thing? I woke up this morning. I had like three texts. Hey, <laughs> what about that game last night? Great overtime win by the Broncos. And I'm like, no. Shades of 2003. Yeah. The Monday Night Miracle down in Tampa. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. ah, Funny man. enough. Yeah, a big injury in that game, too. Uh, Jim, you probably missed it if you nodded off. Mr. Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, so uh, gone down. Center. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he goes down with a knee injury, and uh, it actually, you know, it doesn't that, look hey, too th bad. That'll screw some people up on the uh, the whole, f you know, fantasy football thing. You've got a tight end league, right? Yeah, yeah. He he's he's been huge. No no question about it. Number one at the position, uh, and 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 he's been a points generator all year long. Fortunately enough, the Pats throw to their tight ends just about as much, if not more, than anybody else in the league. And yeah. Scott Chandler, who was actually targeted 11 times last night. There's your pickup for replacement. I mean, almost no one owns this guy because of Bronkowski being in front of him. Um, so go jump on that waiver wire today. Well, Do not wait. I got a question for you. Is there a time and a place to drop Tom Brady? And, and not because of his production in Tom Brady, but lack of weapons on offense. I mean, you right. lose Edelman, Amendola's out, Gronk's out, Deion Lewis is on IR. I mean, sooner or later, uh, he's just not going to have anybody to throw to, right? I, y you would think. But please remember, this is Tom Brady. Yeah. He's done this before. Uh, you know, his receivers have gone by the name of Givens and Branch, and you never knew those guys 10 years ago. Um, so I wouldn't quite jump to that conclusion just yet. Yeah. Uh, he'll find a way. Chandler's still a good receiver. He still uses his backs out of the backfield. Um, I wouldn't drop him. I would start him. And especially, you know, we're coming down to the wire here in fantasy football. Playoffs start uh, next week for some leagues. Uh, if you do multi-league, multi-week matchups for playoffs, and then for other leagues in about two weeks, so it's really coming down to the wire. Until we see that the Patriots indeed can't produce with how many injuries they've had, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pause just yet. However, if you do need a quarterback, 25% of leagues only own, excuse me, 25% of teams in leagues own Kirk Cousins, and it's mm. about time to turn that guy into a full-time starter. Uh, he's finding his receivers. Deshaun Jackson is back. You saw that deep ball to him yesterday. Uh, both of those guys really could fit now that he's healthy, and Kirk is just proven week in, week out, week in, week out. He's the man. Just put him on your team. If you have an offensive player slot, put him there. If you have a quarterback slot and you don't have a guy named Brady uh, or Rodgers or Wilson, um, Mr. Kirk Cousin is a definite pick of mine. Uh, a couple others for you. Another tight end, Julius Thomas. Uh, mm -hmm. The Jags lost Alan Hearns yesterday to a concussion, and Mr. Thomas will pick up the slack. He'll get those receptions, and he's healthy now, too. I mean, he struggled earlier in the year, uh, was out for a few weeks, and you know, came back here and there. But uh, he'll fit into that system nicely. Uh, and then finally, uh, Mr. Theo Riddick is running back for the Lions. Yeah. He's not the number one, but he's getting a ton of receptions. I mean, he's just, he's just targeted a ton, and he's a good pickup to have if you need a running back. Speaking of targets, so Ahmad Bradshaw was on my possible pickup list <laughs> until someday, unfortunately. Right. But uh, just looking at another guy in the Colts that we've kind of been up and down about, all the receivers really in the Colts, you just never know week in and week out. Um, T.Y. Hilton had an amazing day. He was fired up. But you st I just, uh, just an, an inch of concern, an inch of concern. So he's, he's top ten in targets in the league. Uh, he's got 104 targets throughout the season, but only 51 catches, and that is the second worst reception rate really? per target of the top 40 receivers in the league. Wow. So a lot of balls being thrown his way, but he's not hauling them in for whatever reason that is, whether it's just a bunch of deep shots that have gone over or, uh, you know, I, I can't quite pinpoint that yet, but there's just an inch of caution with him week in and week out that yes, you might get excited about this week with a couple of touchdowns and just how good he looked, inch of caution. Right. Yeah, kind of the same with Moncrief, right? I mean, he's, yesterday got catches and yards, but no touchdowns. Over, over so 100 yards for Dante. It's, you know, that's the problem with so many weapons yeah. on the same yeah. team. Uh, how many, have a lot of guys picked up Hasselbeck? Have yes. you noticed that trend at all? Yes, as soon as Luck went down, uh, he was actually the most picked up player 
uh, the following week right. for teams in every sports league you can imagine. Uh, and he's he's owned up to it. You know, a lot of people looked around the league uh, for backup quarterbacks. Uh, various injuries created various holes. You know, people didn't really trust Brock Osweiler, even though he performed last night. But people put their trust in Hasselbeck, and, and he's giving you the points. So, hmm? uh, Last question for you. I picked up Thomas Rawls, the uh, Seahawks running back. Mm -hmm. uh, I Already paying dividends here. He's a good pickup. 14 uh, points. I mean, yeah. he's got to be the hottest name, I would think, in fantasy football. Did you have him two weeks point. ago? Two weeks did, ago. Did yeah. not have him two weeks ago. I know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he was one of the top five most picked up players the last week or two here. Right. Uh, and whatever the surgery was that Marshawn Lynch has, the team said it wasn't for what the injury was, but it, it is. It, I, keep Rawls on your team because, at the very least, even if you have a 50% Marshawn Lynch, you're still going to see a lot of Rawls. Yeah. Rawls uh, is going to get the touches still. Yeah. So. And the receptions. He's been a great receiving back out of the backfield for Wilson. Okay.